All right, guys. So finally, that is wells on this. Holy! Holy! We're about to start taking the exhaust out and see what we're gonna do first. All right, so the car's in the air. Now what we're gonna do first is, whenever me and Logan took the ETS exhaust off, we accidentally took off too much of the downpipe. So we're gonna install the part of the downpipe that we took off, and then we're gonna start with the Tome. So, like that piece needs to go back on, and then we'll start that. All right, so downpipe is on, two 14 millimeter bolts, and then this little, uh, this little hanger thing right there, that's all that takes. All right, so the Tomei comes with directions, but car guys, we're not using directions. That piece with the resonator goes on first, and it has a little flange that connects to the end of the downpipe. All right, so for the first portion of the mid pop, you're gonna need what is a gasket first, and then these two thick bolts. Focus. All right, it's not focusing, but just know that these are the two thickest bolts, and we're gonna put it up to match up with the downpipe. All right, so the first part of the mid pipe, it gives you directions for up and down so you don't get confused like we did. And then you're gonna use the bigger gasket with the bigger bolts because I have an aftermarket downpipe. Now, Tomei, Tomei also gives you a smaller gasket and smaller bolts just in case you have the stock downpipe still. So that's really awesome of them. I didn't know that they did that. So that's, that's pretty cool. So now we're gonna do the second part of the mid pipe and then the actual muffler. All right, so for this portion of the mid pipe, you're gonna need these little flange thingies and then as well as, as well as these little clips. These clips um, connect to here and as well as to the other mid pipe just to make sure it's a tight, very, very tight connection. So that's what you're gonna need for the mid pipe. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and do it. All right, we have the mid pipe fully on. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on the actual muffler part. Um, and it's basically the same thing. It has a little flange the same way in the clips as the muffler. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real fast. All right, the exhaust is fully on. I think we got it pretty perfect in the middle. It was kind of a pain in the butt to uh, get this big thing up on this, this clamp right there and to figure out where it goes, but we got it pretty much perfect in the middle. Now we just got to bolt everything up nice and tight and um, I'm gonna wipe it off so we don't have any fingerprints on there. Now we're gonna start it up. But damn, does this thing look good, dude. Look at this. This exhaust looks amazing. You know these little spring things that I was talking about to hold the exhaust on? Yeah, well that is for real. We're using pliers to like pry them to one another. So check this out. All right, Josh, do it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you don't want to happen. That thing just flew. Oh man. So yeah, be very careful when doing those because those springs will pop on you and that is not something that you want to do. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put the camera down so we can focus on doing this and I'll come back when we got them all on. Right, so we successfully got all four of the little spring clamp things on there. What we had to use was a vice grip. Like these things are serious. I know you guys are all in the comments typing that there's some way like correct way to do this or some tool to use this we don't have you guys right now and so we just used vice grips and hooked them all that was sketchy that was probably the sketchiest exhaust install ever these things went flying a couple times so we got them all on which is all that matters but 
That was pretty sketchy. So now we're just going to tighten everything up and then we'll be done. We think we got it, but we're going to lower it just to make sure that's where we want the exhaust to sit because I don't want to, you know, have a hangy exhaust or something. Oh, yeah. Is it? Dude, it's hanging downward. Bad. It's got like a downward angle. I mean, it looks great. It just, it's got like a downward angle. Ah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go tweak that and then I'll be back. All right, now we need to wipe it. Yep, now we're gonna wash it. Okay, exhaust is fully on. I'm gonna use the quick detailer and some rags to wipe down the exhaust so it doesn't burn any fingerprints into it. And then we're gonna turn it on. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, the exhaust is fully clean. We did all the piping, even though no one will ever see that. It'll be on my mind knowing that it wasn't clean. So we cleaned the entire piping. Now it's time to lower it and turn the car on. Oh yeah. Oh my God, the butt. I think we found a new name for my car. It's Becky. <laughs> It's Becky. We've named my car Becky, because this is this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't care if I it, do they? I don't think so. So before we go for a test drive, in my, before we go for a test drive in my car, check out Josh's Nismo 370Z. Oh my God, dude. That sounds amazing. Yes, that sounds incredible. This thing is sick. By the way, there's some really big plans coming up for this car and I'm about to document all of it. So stay tuned for that. But we're gonna go take a test drive of my car now. All right, first test drive with the, uh, the Tomei. it for today we finally got the exhaust it sounds better than I could have ever imagined looks just as good as it sounds so I'm completely happy 10 out of 10 Tomei you are awesome your exhaust is awesome I wish you made more parts for the 2015 WRX so get on that but thank you to Josh for helping me he's the man stay tuned for the awesome video on his Z that's coming out soon thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one peace out It's like four o'clock right now, and I've literally been sitting here for probably around three hours by the door waiting for this package to come.